Or that, that figure of Braun is my favorite. I don't know what's on the table. Oh, well. Um, here we have Arn Anderson. He came in the four pack with the four horsemen. Uh, Ric Flair is the only four horsemen that I still have complete besides Arn Anderson. I absolutely love this Arn Anderson. Uh, looking back in history, he was like always the person I was fascinated by. The kind of workhorse, uh, no BS, kind of straightforward, in your face kind of guy. I love that persona in wrestling, and I love Arn Anderson. He's literally one of my favorite of all time, and uh, honestly, in my opinion, the best old horseman. Back here with another, not eBay, actually, Mercari pickup. I believe it's Mercari Sanchez. Hey, Dolph Ziggler. Love this figure. Looks so great on the shelf. Looks so great in photos. Love playing with it. Just overall, a great figure. Uh, don't ask me the line. I don't know. Uh, the Elite AJ Styles, really, really great figure. Love the, it's like his date, not, yeah, it's his debut attire at the at the, uh, the Royal Rumble. Love it. It did not come with a jacket, so I put the Elite 51 jacket, maybe. Maybe it's 51, I'm not sure. Jacket on there. Looks great along with the Screaming Head Scan. Because, uh, personally, I use the black and gray one in, uh, like, animations. So, that one has, like, the bland face, where this one has the screaming face, so I use him in photos. Um, just because the blue and black contrast well with other guys. And next we have Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, another more recent pickup. You will be seeing his counterpart, Johnny Gargano, if you can't see him already. He's right there. Um, but, yeah, really cool. Honestly, I think he's the better of the two. And I just love Tommaso Ciampa. His figure is great, and his made NFL off when I tossed him. That's not good. One of, if not the most recent pickup, Team Angle. Kurt Angle, won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck kind of guy. Um, love this figure. Haven't been able to put him down since I got him. Anytime I do anything with my figures, he is always one person I grab to play with. And I got to make sure this does not fall down on everyone because that would be a bad with a little lowercase b. Here we have D. Vaughn Dudley. Um, honestly, the Dudley boys were one of my, like, the guys I was most anticipated for. I don't think I've ever been so excited to, like, meet the mailman to get my dollies, uh, than I was for this Devon, as well as this Bubba. They look so great. They stand out so well on the shelf, especially with the Legends guys, because back in the day, you always wore either black or white. Very bland attires back then. And the Dudley boys stand out up there, as well as in, like, animations. They look so great together um, as a team. Here we have Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cringy, wasn't it? That was pretty freaking cringy. You're just going to say it. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Love both the shirts that came with this. I like it so much that I haven't gotten his other two, two, three, two or three elites that have came out after this. And I don't know if I will. I don't know if I will until this figure breaks. I like this figure. Uh, it's held up well. I used the crap out of it when I first got it. And it's used kind of more casually now. Here we have Goldberg. Came exclusively with that ring. And I was really excited for that ring. But then I found out that the ring is like literally like half a figure. So it only looks good for photos and not really that much at that neither. If you're trying to do like an overhead shot, you have to be like directly in the ring for it to look good. So that's kind of just like a scrap scrap type of ring, which is why I did not get the SmackDown ring, even though I really want the Jinder Mahal. Over here, we do have Seth freaking Rollins. This figure is completely beat up. Black marks everywhere. I need a new Seth Rollins. I just can't let this guy go. I love this all-white attire, and uh, I'm sure I'll have it either in good condition again, or I'll have a Seth Rollins in good condition once again. Here we have Ryback. Ryback always had really cool attires as well as figures. Uh, I did have the red Ryback as well. Don't know where he where that one is. But, yeah, Ryback. Uh, I don't know. He had some of the best figures, honestly. Very underrated figures. Uh, if I could ever... Ooh, Randy. I guess I gotta do Randy now because my Randy Orton, this foot, Lucy Magusi. Uh, I believe that's MDT, what MDT says. I might be mistaken. But, uh... Yeah, loose foot. That Randy Orton does not stand. I have to put so much, uh, like, sticky tack 
on a elite stand just to get this guy to stand and look good on the shelf. Honestly, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably should just change out the boot, but I I just haven't. Um, I like our final guys. Let's move up here just a little bit. Uh, next up here we have the Dean Ambrose. Like the Seth Rollins, I've been needing a new Dean Ambrose, and uh, I finally got this one. Not sure what I, I believe this was the Elite Wave. I don't think this was the SummerSlam one because I don't have a raw tag belt. Um, but cool, cool figure. I like using it. I like when it's like mid hardcore match. His shirt gets ripped off, and uh, you end up just seeing his tank top under it. It looks very hardcore. Uh, this figure is also pretty cool. I enjoy animating. One of my first days with it, I already had it in an animation. Um, such a satisfying word to say. Here we have uh, Johnny Gargano, the assessor to Tommaso Ciampa. Very cool figure. I think besides his long neck peg, it works well. I don't have any issues with the figure. A lot of people complain about the inaccuracy. But I feel like to someone who does know who Johnny Gargano is, this would honestly look acceptable. Um, let's, let's grab over here and take a look at what used to be my favorite figure and what used to be the figure I literally played with every day. And then I got this new shelf, put him on the back of the shelf, and I literally haven't touched him since he was put back there. Cesaro, the Swiss cyborg, Swiss Superman, the supernatural man that does supernatural things. I've been making that up. That figure is cool, though. Um, I would definitely rate it. I don't know about the new Cesaro, but that one I love. Uh, here we have King Booker from the uh, Hall of Fame line. Really, really like it. Um, I think it looks good. Again, the gold looks very, very nice. And speaking of gold and Booker T and nice, nothing but gold. Gold Dust, very, very cool figure. Glad I have this. Haven't had a Gold Dust in a long time. Uh, like a really long time. I don't think I've ever even had a Goldust on this channel. I think my dog ate it before I even had a YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, here it is. Goldust, very cool. Very interesting. Glad I have it. Looks great on the shelf uh, with the rest of the guys. And I chose that two John Cena's. Very interesting. Here we have the prototype John Cena. Don't know why. Uh, kind of stuck him in the back on my Legend shelf. I wanted to do a video with him. But I, uh, or I wanted to make a custom out of them, but I wanted to wait to make a video out of them. So, I need to get on one of those two things, or probably both. Uh, so, this figure probably won't stay here long, but I like it. I think it's a great figure. Like the attire. I wish we would have got, like, the light blue one, or even more of those. But here we have Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, again, don't know the elite line that John Cena was, like, a ringside exclusive, the champ is here type of thing. The Hitman. Really wish I had the Jim, or not Jim Duggan, Jim the Anvil and Nightheart that goes with this. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's a very cool figure to have. I wish I had it before he unfortunately passed away. But, oh my god, that sucked. That was Booker T, by the way. Don't think I'm throwing around Bret Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Um, here we have John Cena, You Can't Stop Me Attire. Uh, this is like my, literally besides that prototype, my only weight John Cena. I swear I have every John Cena figure, um, like every John Cena attire, because I have like 50 John Cena's, but they're all basics. So, this is my only John Cena elite. Really like it. I like the like more serious look on his face. Like he looks like, can't believe he just did that. Now I'm going to have to adjust your attitude. Dude, figures are nuts out here, by the way. We have a Lord Tensai, one of the most underrated figures. I barely ever played with him either. Like, look at that. Look how like detailed that body is. His head's got tats on it. Or his, yeah, his head's got tats on it. But uh, honestly, I just like this like robe thing that he wore. Um, so I just put the robe on him, and he sits there, and he looks so cool. Uh, honestly, I would recommend this. If you guys find this on eBay, buy it for sure. That is a very, very cool figure. Big Cass. Yep. I I don't know. I was just filling spots. He probably shouldn't even be here. Let's replace him with Finn Balor. Big Cass, you were never even on here. Goodbye. Here we have Kofi Kingston. You know, let's just count them all in one with the bootios. 
three-pack of the New Day, the original Epic Moments line. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know who doesn't have these figures. These figures are so great. Love the, like, goldish yellow. Looks great with black and white. Just a really great attire. I wish we got more entrance-wise as opposed to just getting, like, the unicorn horns and the trombone. I wish we would have got some kind of entrance gear for them boys. For the boys. Here we have William Regal, another eBay pickup. Um, very cool. Always wanted a William Regal figure. Uh, again, kind of like the Arn Anderson. He was kind of like no BS, straight to the point wrestler kind of guy. And so uh, when I saw him on ECW, you already know he immediately grabbed my attention. And uh, I just couldn't wait to have him. Looks great on a suited body like a GM. And it would not be a top list, top anything list without the dead man the undertaker and i just had to go with his defining moments elite very very great figure probably the best selling part if it isn't the buckles it has to be that beard um, yeah very cool and then here uh... second to last there's a reason that's last and i'll explain that in like two seconds just calm down um, here we have triple h it's a wrestlemania 33 elite love this figure very very detailed not very, very detailed, but very, very cool looking. Looks great, like, in photos to do, like, a pedigree. Like, who? Oh, Triple H, yeah. Um, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I need a nap. Um, and then, last but not least, we are rounding off the 50th episode with Bam Bam Bigelow. Do you know why? Because I know why. Because the first ever review done on this channel was of Bam Bam Bigelow. And it was of this figure. It was very cringy. Had a very quick animation at the beginning. Very garbage animation. But it was an animation. And uh, this guy was the star of it. I don't recommend go checking it out. It is the first video ever on the channel, I believe. And uh, don't go check it out. Very cringy. Very soft sounding kid voice. Um, but yeah. Very cool, Bam Bam Bigelow. Love the head tats. Wish I got more use out of it. Just the the shape of his body. The legs like don't move at all. His arms can't close. He can't do any moves. This figure is very poorly designed, but looks great standing on the shelf and looks great with the rest of the legends. So let's just check this out for the outro. This huge pile of guys. That is all 50 guys that we went over in this video. Oh my. Well, guys, there you have it. This was me reviewing 50 of my elite fig 50 plus of my elite figures. And with that said, hopefully you all did enjoy. I do thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.